So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys, I bring you 8 must get weapons. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. So yes, today guys, I bring you 8 must get amazing weapons. So let's get into it. And first up people, we have the Uchi Gitana which is basically the standard weapon the samurai starts with but this thing is a bit of a monster and because it has that bleed out perk on it just makes it a must get for almost any play style so to get this thing you need to come to the death touch catacombs which ain't too far north of where you actually come out into the open world where you start the game so as you can see on screen here we go inside of this mini dungeon and you just simply guys want to follow the path I take. Don't worry about any of the enemies. Um, you can just run straight past them and grab this thing. So yes, do as I do on the screen now guys. And get this amazing weapon. Okay, so next up, people, we have the Shamsher. I believe that's pronounced. I'm not even certain, to be honest. Now, this actually isn't too far away from where we just got the last weapon. So from here on the map, guys, is relatively straightforward. Now, you do want to come into this cave system. You will activate this grace. So if you do die down here, you can just come back and grab this thing. Now, you don't have to fight any enemies down here, but there's a few enemies surrounding the weapon. You can just jump amongst them and grab it but if i were you before doing this i'd probably spend those runes uh, because you could die and if you do die you'd still have to go back down to grab the runes so i'll probably spend them before doing this one well it is relatively straightforward you could probably take out the enemies i'm not gonna lie to you guys they're not hard but just in case there's a low level watching this and thinking oh, that's a pretty looking weapon i could do that with that in my life so yes spend those runes before doing this so just follow the path i take guys to this one and enjoy it. So next up people we have the tree spear now this one just northwest of the last weapon um this one's probably well it's super easy i'm not going to say it's the easiest today because a couple more remaining are super easy as well but this one you literally just run up to a wagon and grab it at the back of a of a chest that's on the back of the wagon so you want to come up to this spot on the map right here the Luernia uh, highway south and from this point guys just follow the 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 path I take, jump on your man to run forward. You'll see um, that there's a big troll here. You want to obviously avoid him because he will kick your ass. 
But then just jump on the back of this wagon guys and grab this thing and it's yours to keep. And it is as simple as that one people. Next up guys we have the crystal sword, now this is an amazing weapon for sure, now there's a lot of confusion around how this actually is obtained and the location, because when you pin, if you watch someone's guide on YouTube and I watched someone's guide on, because I was a little confused, I watched someone's guide and they just didn't show the location properly, I mean they pinpointed it on the map but didn't show you how you got to it. So if you pinpoint the, the place we want to go to here on the map, it looks like it's on top of a giant cliff, but actually it isn't. So what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to run here from a nearby uh, Grace, which is easy to get to. And that will be the Leonia Lake Shore Grace. So you want to come to this one right here, guys, which is just down west of the last weapon we just picked up. Now I would have put this before the last weapon but there's a few weapons over here and there's also something you need to pick up from this area which triggers another weapon that could spawn in. That's why I saved it until now. So yes guys come to this Leonia Lake Shore uh, Grace and we want to go across to this one right here which is the village of the Albino I believe that's pronounced. I'm not even sure guys but that's where we need to get to anyways. So just follow where I go on screen now keeping the rocks and the mountains and cliff sides to your left hand side and you should be pretty fine in finding this So once you get here guys it's probably recommended if you have a torch to pull it on because it's pretty dark here but you will eventually come to this point here if you're keeping a cliff on your left hand side. And up in here guys, once you get here, you want to activate this grace, no two which ways about it, and we're going to use this grace as a starting point for the next weapon anyway. Once you grab this grace guys, follow where I go on screen now, go across this uh, rope bridge, and you'll see on your right hand side there is the amazing crystal sword.
Okay, so next up, people, we have the Ivory Sickle. So from the Grace Point, we just got, uh, thanks to the last weapon, the Crystal Sword, follow this path up this hill right here. So once you get to the top guys, it seems as though you can loot this tomb, which you can. And within it guys, is the ivory sickle. And it is as simple as that one people. Okay, so the next weapon we're going to get is called the Clinging Barn. And it's without a shadow of a doubt the hardest one to get today. Because you do have to fight an enemy for this. But you also get an amazing armor set too. Which I've already covered in a video. But today is about weapons guys. So from that last grace point we just got. Thanks to the Ivory Sickle and the Crystal Sword. If you skip to this point in the video guys via a timestamp. Go back to the Crystal Sword and follow the path I take in that one to get to the grace you need to come to to find this because what's happening here is guys we need to come up this hill and we need to hit this what well, I don't know what is it an urn a basket I don't know we hit it but there's an old guy inside of here now if you talk to him he will give you a medallion please no <laughs> I haven't a clue with the cursemonger's hands and this medallion is super important because on your map bottom left you'll have the table of lost grace now if you have this medallion like you get it off the old guy and go to the table of the lost grace you will then be invaded by an enemy called Ensha of the royal remains it's actually an npc that's here in here but she wants this medallion so she attacks you now if you kill her guys you get the royal remains armor set which is pretty amazing but you also get this clinging bone weapon now the clinging bone weapon you are rewarded more or less instantly as a short loading sequence and then you get it but the royal remains armor set you do have to just walk around the corner to pick up which you'll also see on screen now so enjoy this one people Okay, so next up guys, we have the Carrion Glintstone Staff. Now this one is located quite a far way up the top of the map. Well, I wouldn't say it's not at the top of the map, but for me it was at the time at the top of the map. And we want to come to the study hall entrance. So just travel north up that long road guys. And you will eventually come to where I'm at on the map right here. And you just want to go into this massive, beautiful building. So once you were in here guys just follow the path I take now. You may have to call the lift down, you may not. But once it's here, just stand in the middle of it, activate it, it will go up. And then guys you want to get your jug on and run past all of these enemies because man they hit seriously hard so don't even bother trying to fight them just run past them as best you can obviously activating the grace just in case you do die which is at the start of the building but yeah just run past them guys and at the very very top there will be this staff so grab it and run back out it's as simple as that 
Now this is one I would say as well, use your runes, spend your runes if you've got some, because there's a good chance you may die, um, and there's a good chance you may die trying to retrieve them from this point. But yeah, it is easily possible to run up and grab this and run back out, as you see me doing on screen now. But just in case guys, be warned. Okay, so lastly for today's video guys, we have the Sword of Night and Flame. Now this one's a bit of a trek to get to. It's located within the Carrier Manor, northwest of the map. Now a lot of people think you can't get here until you beat some boss. That's actually false. You can get here because there is a teleporter, a portal which gets you here. That's the way we're going to go today guys. So you can do this more or less at the start of the game if you want to. And this is a great weapon as well. So you want to come to this point on the map right here, the boil prone shack. If you haven't activated this because we want to run up to the teleporter which is just north of this place so come to the boil pro and shack as you can see me at on screen now and then follow the route i take on screen now i'll just run straight forward guys and come to this portal So once you're at the portal guys, obviously go through it and then you just want to follow the path again, I take on screen now. Now once you see the building you will see like a lightning shooting out of the sky trying to get it's not lightning but it looks like that it's trying to get your ass so obviously you want to avoid this as best you can it don't hit too hard you can take a few shots and it won't kill you but you're just in case guys do what you gotta do so come to the actual building and use the site of grace for sure And from here guys just run in and turn left and follow the path I take on screen now. Now you will be attacked by giant hands trying to crumble your ass. But yes if you're just quick enough and uh, smart enough you avoid all of that no problem whatsoever. So as you can see I'm keeping uh, the wall on my left and just following this path up right here. Then going through this uh, archway. Still keeping the wall on my left and then you'll see. Uh, you'll come around this corner and then there's steps there so you want to go up into this building and there is another grace you can actually activate within this building as well so run straight up here guys and go straight upstairs and you'll come to the grace so from here guys you want to go out the building right in front of you Go right and follow the path I take on screen now. Running straight past all the enemies, taking no notice of them, and just following the path I take. It's relatively straightforward, guys. Yeah, I'm coming along this way. You'll be all good. You'll be all good. Now, there is something behind this building. I can't remember what it is, but it's probably worth your time in going to get it. It's on this body right here. I can't remember what it is. But grab it guys grab it so now you want to jump off here onto this building here and then you'll have to jump down again just like so 
And then guys, you want to take the ladder down into this room. And once you get in this room, guys, there you have it. Grab it out of the chest, the Sword of Night and Flame. And it is as simple as that, guys. And there we have it, people. Eight amazing weapons you need to get your hands on. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.